What makes me most interested in quantum mechanics as a Muslim is that it is one of the biggest milestones in human history. It's as if humanity has completed a full circle in its intellectual evolution. Why? Because the description of the universe that quantum mechanics gives us is not new. Rather, it is a very old, very ancient, very mystical description. All mystic traditions throughout history have defined the universe uh, in the same way as now quantum mechanics is doing. Uh, this to me is very remarkable. Why? Because when you have people in the past saying something purely based on their intuition or scriptures or their mystical experiences, and then you have people in the future uh, confirming that using completely different tools of mathematics or experimentation, what that means is that the people in the past with their scriptures and their insights were all right and what is being reiterated is the truth. And I guess for this reason we see almost all of the pioneers of quantum mechanics uh, very much immersed in mystical traditions either of the East or the West. Max Planck who started the quantum revolution, he was an ardent Christian. He famously said consciousness is the most fundamental thing in the universe. Matter is derivative. Werner Heisenberg, famous for the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Erwin Schrödinger for the main equation we use in quantum mechanics. Hermann Weyl, who developed gauge theory, which is now extended to what we call string theory. These people, they were very much into Eastern mysticism. You have to see what all they've written. Wolfgang Pauli for the Pauli's exclusion principle was very much into lucid mysticism, Western philosophy. And John von Neumann, the man who wrote the Bible of quantum mechanics, he proposed that it was consciousness that collapses the wave function. So in the Muslim world now, which happens to be the last of the distinguished uh, mystical traditions, we had 900 years of Islamic science, uh, cosmology, astronomy, etc. And many a times there were mystics who were writing about physics and cosmology, and there were physicists who were deeply uh, immersed in uh, spirituality and mysticism. So in fact, the Islamic atomic theory uh, which is Ashari atomism, uh, was actually formulated by uh, theologians and mystics. Now, for me, coming from that tradition, quantum mechanics is just new language to express old knowledge.